Uh, are they summoning something right now? Yeah, they are summoning something. Definitely summoning something. So at least I interrupted that. Or I seem to interrupt it at least. Hello reformers and welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor. And uh, well, as you can see here, we've actually accessed the star map and it is where we can select and launch our missions. All right, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, we need to go to the, uh, as you can see, the Aethon system apparently to search for the Magos Spialogus at three possible locations. So, as you can see, we do have the three possible locations here. I'm not entirely sure which one to go for, but I guess we'll just travel there first and see what happens. Now, of course, we do need to find the Magos Biologus, just as a small reminder, to treat Caius Thorn, because he's, you know, he's kind of in a bad state at the moment. So let's see, uh, I guess we should just start at the left. Frozen Wasteland. It's a campaign mission. An ocean planet ca covered by a vast archipelago where large flotillas harvest the local aquatic species of fauna and deliver the catch to the giant, gigantic, actually not giant, processing plants scattered all over the islands. A mysterious Xenos race has been reported to be there. All right, let's do it. Now, of course, we do have my uh, wonderful build at the moment, which allows us to use some extremely fun abilities. Oh wow, Reborn Plague Seers, Unbound Grunts, and all kinds of things. Alright, so... Yeah, the difficulty is story mode. We're gonna take minus 20% damage. Yeah, because it is lower than our rating at the moment. Alright, so this is gonna be a pretty easy mission. We should be able to breeze through this no problem at all. I have followed the coordinates to one of the possible locations where Metrodora Thelema should be pursuing her research on the source of the epidemic that devastated the St. Abelard Monastery. The area is teeming with hostiles, but our sensors indicate the presence of a small imperial settlement in the wilderness. I'm going to enter the zone and locate the Magos by Logus. I had to be pretty quick because it was loading and I didn't want it to go away. But it seems like it's now taking longer. Great, thanks PC. According to the coordinates you found, this area is one of the potential locations where your Magus Biologus could be, and it seems you've also got company. Oh, we've got company, eh? Well, let's do it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna use my jetpack right away right here. We can just absolutely murder everything. Yes. I absolutely love the shockwaves. I, you know what? If you have a really, really bright monitor right now, I'd highly recommend lowering that brightness because I am dying right now. This, this, this white is very, very bright indeed. My monitor is on, I think, 100% brightness or something like that. But, oh dear. <laughs> yes, let's hope that you don't. Let's hope that you have a little bit lower brightness. Otherwise, you're going to be suffering with me. So, yeah, join the club. Alright, but we're, we're actually dealing with these guys very easily indeed. I actually really love the setup that we have at the moment. Because it is really paying off dividends. Having an AoE based build, especially when you're dealing with so many enemy units at once. I mean, you can see that. Look at that. I just absolutely murder everything. You know what would be quite good? Is if the game would show the damage numbers in a different color when you are on a planet like this. Because obviously we're on a planet that is primarily covered in snow and uh, well I can't see white you know I can't see white uh, white white letters and uh, and numbers so it's obviously gonna be kind of a guessing game as to how much damage I'm actually doing and there's a, there's a chest here oh give me that I have no idea what I just picked up an electromagnet of some kind I think uh, I'm very pleased that the minimap is still working though and telling me that I'm gonna be swarmed by a huge amount of very small things <laughs> and uh, they're kind of funny. They're kind of funny, aren't they? They're just running around doing their thing. And I'm going to run into them and we are going to absolutely murder everything. Yes. That was amazing. I like it. Uh, yeah, that's actually a good point, though, because if you notice here, the white snow has just been tainted by huge amounts of blood, and uh, that's pretty good, actually. We have received a distress call from a rogue trader in orbit. 
His transport crew on the ground was attacked by hostiles while moving important supply rates to the local administration cloisters. They humbly ask you to secure the cargo before the cultists return for the goods. Well, I'll try to do that. I, I assume that the getting the cargo optional mission is over here. And that's exactly why I've come over here. I would expect that I have to defend it. I found the supplies. We will remove the cargo from the area, but it will take some time. The sensors located several cultist troops approaching your location. Get ready to defend the supplies. <laughs> I am attempting to defend it, and uh, this is a this is a bit worrying to me, to be honest, because uh, I'm not entirely sure if I have the. Well, my build is certainly not very good to defend these kinds of situations, so I guess I'm just going to have to do my best. But uh, maybe that's not good enough. I don't know. It really depends. We'll see. I mean, you can see here that all these little small small guys are coming in here and being like, "Hello," and we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of damage to it. Okay, there's another couple coming from over here. Oh, we got a Mars power sword. That looks cool. Okay, so wave one. How many? Oh, we have to do two waves? Oh, dear. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes. Oh, yes. Tarantula turret. Thank you. Yes, please, please, please help me out, Tarantula Turret. I would very much appreciate it. What's this thing over here? Medical supplies? I don't need you, you insolent fool. Uh, I don't know why I'm t talking to medical supplies. I must have gone crazy on this snow planet. Anyway, let's see if I can... Yes, I can quite easily take those out. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Okay, well, ah... Uh... I guess I should just stay next to the cargo and see what I can do about defending it as best I can. Let's try and defend the tarantula turret as well. The most annoying thing about these guys, I'm going to throw a grenade. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I forgot about my grenades. I can actually use those from range. So that's pretty good. Hello, you're being annoying. Die, please. Okay, let's throw another grenade over there. Yes. Okay, so we're, we're actually doing reasonably well so far. I think we just need to kill this one last guy who's being annoying. There we go. He was staying out of the range of our tarantula turret and shooting with his machine pistol. That was not very nice of him. Wow, the tarantula turret actually does a lot of damage. I think we do have enough HP. I think we do. The cargo is safe. Praise the Emperor. We'll take over from here and get them to the rogue trader. You can proceed with your mission, Inquisitor. I find it really amusing how we are finding these side missions when technically we wouldn't have come to this planet in the first place. So it's like, oh yes, there's a, there's a new mission for you. Uh, we didn't expect you to go here, but uh, there is a mission. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I guess that is actually kind of cool, the way that it actually introduces a new mission. And uh, you're just able to have some fun with it. And uh, we're going to try and throw a grenade here. And all kinds of other wonderful AOE abilities. Oh, wow. Is that is that mine? No, these are not mine. Certainly not mine, okay. That was a pretty harsh fight. I'm actually going to have to use some healing. Actually, no, I don't even need to use healing because apparently I have regeneration, so I'm, I'm pretty good. Captain, Metro North Alema is definitely not here. That's quite unfortunate, Inquisitor. At least I've eliminated the local threat, so this whole journey hasn't been a complete waste of my time. 
We have two other sets of coordinates. Maybe you'll find her on the next world. Alright, well, unfortunately we weren't able to find her there, but uh, maybe it's going to work out to be one of those things where you just go to every single planet and it doesn't really matter where you go first. Who knows? Ooh, well, let's have a look what we're getting. Are we getting anything good? Your implant? Nope, it's not particularly good. Is this good? Ooh, this... Ooh, yeah. There we go. That might actually be something for us. I love the chainsaw. I feel like the chainsaw is really amazing. All right, so I oh I've, I've apparently completed a, a, hero a heroic deed. Okay, kill 500 enemies with heavy type weapons. Crusader only. Plus one warfare attribute point. That's nice. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. Okay, so where is that? Is that over here? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so grants da -da -da, in single combat with no more than one opponent within. Yeah, why not? I think that sounds like a good plan to me because we do need a little bit of extra damage versus bosses rather than many, many units because many units usually die very, very quickly for us. So that sounds pretty good to me. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so we're currently using a chainsaw that does 52 damage. We have a power rating of 66, by the way. And uh, let's take a look. So we're doing 52 damage. So this does 55, and that gives me a little bit of HP per kill, which is quite nice. So let's just replace that. I'm hoping that I can actually get a better shield. Ah, that's nice. Give me that better shield, thank you very much. This is actually awesome as well. This is a fantastic machine pistol, and we do have a couple of other things here that we could potentially use. So I guess I'm going to equip that. And we can equip this, I guess. Yeah, that does a little bit extra for us. And us, yeah, our signums are really awful. So it would be nice to maybe get a little bit of something there. Mm, critical hit strength we currently have equipped. So I think I'm pretty fine with this. Oh, there's a gift. Hello. I'm going to I'm going to open the gift. Ooh, this, oh, this is nice. I, I'm not used to getting gifts like this. Okay, this is pretty cool. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh, this, this has taken me by surprise. I'm not entirely sure why I was uh, gifted this, but thank you very much. <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. They've got some awesome, awesome things here. And uh, it's kind of a shame because I really love the chain sword, but this is just so much better. So maybe I should... Whoa, that's really awesome. Maybe I should use the Great Axe. But then that means I'm not using the shield any further and I can't do AoE damage. Oh, now I'm sad. But these are these are legendaries. These are literal legendaries. So we're going to have to... You know what? I'm going to use that on my second set of gear. And we're going to see how that goes. Because, I mean, how can you not use a legendary axe like that? It's just crazy good crazy good so I'm pretty happy with it and uh, let's see is there anything else that I want to use here what's this okay that's apparently put my power rating up to 102 uh, that's, that's pretty awesome okay well frag grenade don't really need this well wow. there's just so much stuff there really is just so much stuff right here I guess I can use that blueprint and uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't think I really need to do much more here. We've advanced our power level by a huge deal. And let's go over to uh, to, to the star map again. And uh, apparently there is actually co-op in this game. I actually didn't know that there was co-op in the game. I thought that they uh, they removed that uh, before before the release. But apparently there is co-op. I, I just saw it there on the, uh, on the ship, on the bridge. Anyway, let's see where we want to go to. Should we go to... I, I'm sure it's going to be on the Prime, isn't it? It's going to be on the Prime planet? Maybe? Who knows? But uh, what, what I do know is this is probably going to be bug infested because it seems like there's a bunch of hives here. Who knows? I suppose we'll see and indeed find out very shortly. But you can see there's a whole bunch of other things around here that... Uh, they, they might, they, you know, they're going to be pretty difficult. Some missions are actually pretty difficult. All right, so, yeah, we've got the same 
Same little objective here. Inquisitor, this is the second location where Omega's biologues could be. Unfortunately, the area is swarming with hostiles. Die, Ah, uh, that's crazy. That is really, really crazy. Okay, hello. There's a whole bunch of you, and there's only one of me, but don't worry, because I can kill you very easily. Yes. Ah, uh, this is actually awesome. This is actually awesome. I was thinking to myself that I wasn't really going to enjoy not using the shield, but having this two-handed axe is just crazy. Okay, so let's actually just take a look at our abilities here real quick, because I'm actually just using them blind. This is a forward dash. Finish with a Devastating Strike. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Cool down to four seconds. Then we have Spinning Blow. That's amazing because that just does so much damage in an AoE. Then we have Wide Strike, which is more like a cleave attack. And then we just have the regular strike. So you can also see all the all the DPS and the, the, the pure damage and stuff that it does. So it seems like our main attack is going to be the thing that we'll be using against bosses and things. Like this guy. We're going to just... Whoa, we are murdering. We are absolutely murdering these guys really are and uh, yeah we can kill all of these in like one hit that's crazy and we also have a shield by the way I don't know whether you've noticed but there's actually a shield here I think I mistakenly didn't really mean to do that but uh, I apparently mistakenly replaced my frag grenades with this shield which I gotta say I'm actually not even not even mad about right now not even mad about that because personally I feel like if I'm gonna be running around with a two-handed axe it's going to make sense to have a shield. Not that I'm complaining. I couldn't disable the alarm in time. On the bright side, finally silence. Ah, okay, so apparently I had to destroy the alarm pretty quickly and I was unaware of that, but uh, yeah, you can see that it doesn't really matter. We're able to destroy them very quickly indeed. Ah, so apparently there's a whole bunch of those things, so I guess I'm gonna have to go and deal with it, and this is gonna be fun. Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. There we go. And we're barely taking any damage either because of the shield. I feel like the shield is utterly insane with the amount of damage it's able to absorb. Let's actually just take a quick look at that. It can take 2,000 damage. I don't exactly know how good that actually is, but you can see here that I actually only have 4,200 HP, so having a 50% almost HP shield, that's amazing. That's really good. So I'm, I'm pretty happy that I replaced the frag grenades with the shield without really knowing it, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, apparently go and do the side mission to destroy the pustules. And there's also something here. What's that? Such this is chest. Ah, you're giving me all kinds of loot again, aren't you? Wow, did you see that? We just did like what, 1,200 damage with the with that executability? It's oh, it's crazy. It gives me so much mobility as well. That's nice. Okay, I was actually unaware that it was so quick. Okay, that's nice. There's actually something over here as well. I'm sure it's just some supplies or something. That like, yeah, it's just supplies. It's not really something I need, but I guess I'll just take it anyway. I'm actually just going to go over to the pustule, and if these things want to follow me, then they can very easily, and are welcome to do so, because, well, I'm just going to murder them all at the same time with a whirlwind attack or something along those lines. There 
There we go. The one thing that is a little bit inhibiting about the two-handed axe is that the cleave attack can only be used every couple of seconds. Whereas, obviously, I'd like to have a cleave attack that can be used every second because, you know, it would make much more sense for that to be the case, but unfortunately, we don't have that ability. Alright, so we've done that, and now all we need to do is attempt to find the Magos Biologus once again. Now, I don't exactly know whether this is going to... Ah, yes, I don't know whether this is actually going to work out, but who knows, maybe it is. What you wonder, it's got some stuff in it. It's got some stuff in it. Come on now, give me some good stuff. A, poison, a personal void shield? No. That's not... Uh, I, I don't think I actually need that. I'm, I'm actually using one of those, I think, at the moment. Uh, are they summoning something right now? Yeah, they are summoning something. Definitely summoning something. So at least I interrupted that. Or I seem to interrupt it at least. By the Emperor, these tech priests and their elusive ways. Do you copy, Captain? The Magos Biologus is not here. Really sorry, Inquisitor. We'll travel to the last set of coordinates then. I have a lost fortress monastery to find. I hope she can help my investigation. For her sake. Well, there we have it. We uh, unfortunately were unable to find her there as well as, uh, well, as far as I'm aware, I think this is probably scripted. I don't think you can actually find her before, you know, actually going to each of the planets because obviously it's going to give you level ups, you know, it's going to give you level ups, it's going to give you additional gear and all kinds of wonderful stuff. So it is kind of necessary anyway, and it's fun, you know, it's fun to play. So as you can see, there is actually a co-op multiplayer here. I don't exactly know how good it is or anything like that, but uh, it seems, I mean, if the, if the game is fun single player, I think it's just going to be even more fun in co-op, isn't it? And uh, the game will team you up with th three randomly selected players and use the invite function if you wish to play with friends. That's awesome. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this episode off here and uh, next time maybe we'll try and find the Magos Biologus. Would you like to see more? I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.